apparently Hunter Biden has gone from being an inexperienced member of a Ukrainian gas company board to now being an inexperienced artist who's looking to auction off his art to the tune of half a million dollars in some cases. Now, he not only plans to do this auction in the fall, there are so many issues surrounding it that the White House got involved in order to ensure that it doesn't lead to bad optics, right? It doesn't lead to the possibility of some of the purchasers buying Hunter Biden's art with the sole intention of getting closer to the White House or influencing the White House. The Washington Post reports that White House officials have helped craft an agreement under which purchases of Hunter Biden's artwork, which could be listed at prices as high as $500,000, will be kept confidential from even the artist himself in an attempt to avoid ethical issues that could arise as a presidential family member tries to sell a product with, of course, a highly subjective value. So. Is that a good idea for the White House? Well, there are some experts in government ethics weighing in on this, and I tend to agree with them. Let's take a look at the video. The sale triggering criticism of a White House that touts itself as the most ethical administration in history. I think the right thing to do would have been for White House ethics officials to try to talk the president into begging his son not to go through with this sale. Walter Schaub was director of government ethics under President Obama. Don't the children of presidents have the right to pursue a career? The children of presidents have the absolute right to pursue a career. But as citizens of this country, they really have a moral and ethical duty not to trade on their parents' public service. There is also concern that someone might try to gain influence with the president by buying his son's art. The administration has made an agreement with the gallery not to reveal buyers' names to anyone, including Hunter Biden or the White House. This is an amateur mistake because there's no way to control what the purchasers do. They can go out and tell the world that they bought this art. That's exactly right. Uh, So there are other downsides, by the way, of the lack of transparency. Because if the identity of the art purchasers are hidden from the public, then what if the public is then unable to keep a close eye on the purchaser to see whether or not he or she has garnered some favoritism among the Biden administration? So this is just a bad idea. And Hunter Biden's not an artist. He's just, what are we doing here? No, nah, it's just, look, I'm so tired of, look, I get it, Hunter Biden's a troubled soul, right? But he's also a scam artist, and I'm tired of it, I'm sick of it. So, of course, he doesn't know anything about Ukrainian gas interests. Of course, he was on the board because his last name is Biden. And now, he's, he's never sold a thing in art, he's not an artist, this is just a scam to get him tons of money because his last name is Biden. And the people buying the art, are they interested in his art? Don't be ridiculous. Obviously, it's a backdoor bribe to the Biden family, right? And so now, does Joe Biden want that? No, it's not gonna help him. He, and guys, here's why, just be logical about it. When Joe Biden stops being president, he's gonna write a book and he's gonna get paid five, 10, 20 million dollars for it. So he doesn't need that rinky dink 200,000 to us, that's a lot of money. But to them, $200,000 for a painting, for Joe Biden, that's totally irrelevant. But Hunter is a scam artist. So he's looking for every scam there is. Oh, I'm now a painter. I'm not, get the out of here, okay? And oh, they paid me $500,000 for my great nouveau art. No, they didn't. They paid it to you to try to influence the Biden administration. So you got to get a hold of this, man. You can't let this guy keep running around running scams. I know he's your son, and I know it's super painful, and I feel for you, but this is not acceptable. Always think about, guys, when you're thinking about a controversy that involves our side, right? What if the shoe was on the other foot? Imagine if Ivanka Trump or the Eric Trump, that fool, right? Mm. Was like, oh, I'm now doing art. And people are giving me $500,000 for my art. And oh no, it's all secret who the donors are. You'd never believe it. It's an obvious scam. No, it you is. You shouldn't Absolutely. believe it when Hunter Biden Absolutely. does it. Absolutely. And look, okay, we would be irresponsible to not mention that there was quite a bit of nepotism going down in the Trump administration. His inexperienced doofish children had incredibly important senior roles within the White House that they, of course, had no expertise in. They were complete and utter disasters. So, but Democrats, especially a Democratic administration that 
considers itself far more ethical, the most ethical administration of all time. They should be held to a better standard, a higher standard, and to allow for this to go down. I mean, I don't care about what type of agreement or what type of strategy the White House is using here to prevent corruption or prevent influence toward the Biden administration. It's just hard to do it because again, artwork is subjective. The value of artwork is subjective. Is Anything that Biden produces really worth half a million dollars? Well, look, I'm not an art expert, so no. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'm not an art expert either. No, no. There's a zero percent chance it's worth five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, zero percent. Yes, zero percent. That was just my way of transitioning to actual art experts and what they had to say about the art. But I hear you. Um, so let's hear from um, Mark Strauss, uh, who for uh, for the past decade has owned a gallery in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and he said that among high end art dealers, nobody would ever start at these prices for someone who has no professional training and has never sold art on the commercial market. And then. Um, the former editor in chief of Modern Painters also weighed in on this, and he was less kind or generous to Hunter Biden. He said this I would call it, meaning the art, very much a hotel art aesthetic. It's the most anonymous art I can imagine. It's somewhere between a screensaver and if you just Googled mid century abstraction and mashed up whatever came up. Look, you know me, I don't have a lot of, you know, Respect for modern art to begin with. Who can tell? Who can tell what's worth what? And by the way, if you don't know, the two biggest ways that people launder money are real estate, <laughs> Trump, and oh no, the Russians happened to Russian oligarchs happened to buy a third of Trump Tower. I bet they weren't trying to get money out of the country. And and art, art's the second way that people launder money now. So it's got. It doesn't mean that every art buyer is a money launderer. Of course not. It doesn't mean everybody who bought an apartment in Trump Tower was laundering money. Of course not, right? But do some people do that? Yes. Are there some unsavory characters in that world who get a twofer, launder money, influence the Bidens at the same time? It's just a recipe for disaster. So look, I don't know what Joe Biden's supposed to do because it's his son. And I know that his heart breaks for this situation and he's an independent person. You can't tell him not to do art. You can't tell him not to sell the art, right? But this whole thing about don't worry, it's gonna be a secret is a joke. Nobody thinks it's gonna be a secret and nobody thinks it's real art. So our job is to level with you guys, whether it's Trump and the Republicans or Biden and the Democrats. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.